Chiefs Kingdom, it's playoff time, which means injury news is at the top of the agenda today on the Chiefs Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Andrews, and we've got a lot to talk about here, along with injury news, like I mentioned, on a couple of key players. Plus, we got some press conference notes for you. We got Patrick Mahomes talking about playing the Dolphins in a cold game. We got Chris Jones talking about his future. All of that coming up right here on the Chiefs Report. But listen, the first playoff practice was today, which means we got the first look at the injury report. Who was back at practice? Who wasn't at practice? What is exactly going on all around the Kansas City Chiefs heading into that wild card matchup on Saturday against the Miami Dolphins? And I'm telling you, if you want to stay up to date, if you want to know the injuries, any extra signings, anything going on with Kansas City throughout this entire playoffs run, which will hopefully be a long one, I hope Kansas City is playing into February, well, then I'll tell you what, you're at the right place. And hit that subscribe button right now because we're keeping you updated every single step of the way. We got wild card. Hopefully, we got divisional. We got the AFC Championship. And hopefully, we're going to be right here for you in the Super Bowl watching our Kansas City Chiefs go to work. I'm telling you what, subscribe today. We got all of it for you and the best place for it, too, because we're having a fun time while giving you all the news about the Kansas City Chiefs. Without further ado, let's get into all the injury news with four guys who are back at practice today. We talked about these injuries yesterday on the Dolphins versus Chiefs preview, and it was Kadarius Toney with that hip and ankle, Rasheed Rice, hamstring, Legereus Sneed, the calf, and Donovan Smith, the neck. Those were the four guys that were injury designated out this past week versus the Chargers. Obviously, other guys were sitting out due to health concerns, wanted to make sure they did not get any injuries. Well, Tony Rice, Sneed, and Smith were all out with injury designations. All four of them are back at practice. Tony's back, Rasheed Rice is back, Snead is back, and Smith is back. All good news, but there is also a little bit of bad news, but it's not as much as the good news. Now, Wanya Morris, who left this past Sunday's game against the Chargers with a concussion, will not practice today. The good news behind that, he had been starting in the place of Donovan Smith. Donovan Smith back at practice today. So in theory, you could just flip those around, and Morris with just a concussion hopefully will be available on Saturday for a depth option to back up Smith and anything else that might happen. We also talked about Jawan Taylor getting injured this past Sunday. He is also good at practice, no injury designation that we know of at this current time. Justin Ross left that list past Sunday's game with a hamstring injury after a couple catches. He is not practicing on Tuesday. I honestly do not expect to see him in really any fashion over the playoffs. If we were going to see him, it would have been during this entire season. I know we had that little bit of six-game suspension, but at the same time, we haven't seen anything from him before. Playoffs is not the time to test anything out. So two guys who are tough to lose, but obviously you're pretty good considering the starters that I just mentioned are all back at practice. Speaking of those starters, the biggest one being Rasheed Rice. He is a guy who I think could explode this playoffs. He already had a stellar regular season, putting up one of the best rookie wide receiver seasons that we saw this year, along with guys like Puka Nakua, even Jackson Smith and Jigma. I mean, this guy was a second-round pick and was putting up numbers that rivaled the first-round picks. 938 on the yards, and that's with sitting out the last game of the season. This guy easily could have been a 1,000-yard receiver if they played him and played everybody this past Sunday. 11.9 on the average is something that you love to see because that means he's not just kept catching the deep routes, he's catching the under routes. That's a good middle ground where you can tell he is an all out wide receiver can go ins, can go outs. Plus, the seven touchdowns, I think it's an underrated stat. Given he scored the first touchdown of the year, I expect him to be very active inside the red zone because a lot of times these Dolphins players are going to be looking at Travis Kelsey when the Chiefs get inside that red zone. Well, guess what? You have Rasheed Rice. He's a threat there as well. You got to play both sides. I hope he is a factor. But the problem is, he's the only wide receiver I really trust at this moment. We saw what McCole Hardman did this past Sunday, but are we going to see that again with the playoff level talent coming in? Well, I don't know, which is why the question keeps arising, and it's been all season long. But now, as the Chiefs head into the playoffs, what is your confidence level in this wide receiver room for the Chiefs? You have Rasheed Rice, Kadarius Toney, MVS, McCall Hardman, Sky Moore, who could be back maybe next week if the Chiefs are victorious against the Dolphins this, this next Saturday. A lot of names floating around. It's, it's one of those things of who are you going to look to? Justin Watson, I mean, he had a couple of good games earlier in the season. We haven't seen him in the past five weeks. What's the confidence level in this Chiefs wide receiver room on a scale of 1 through 10? 
I want to know what you think in the comment section of today's video. So give me a number, scale of 1 through 10, confidence level in the Chiefs wide receiver. Here's the thing that I like, and I think that maybe it could outweigh the maybe distrust in the wide receivers. You're almost back to full strength. You saw all those starters back. Obviously, Wanya Morris is not going to be out there, and he's been a star for the past four weeks now. But at the same time, the guy he was replacing, Donovan Smith, should be back. Justin Ross, not a starter, obviously stinks, but you're pretty much back to full strength. The one guy who, unfortunately, we got some news on, and I'm not, gonna sure, I'm not sure it's going to be the greatest news. It was Brian Cook. Now, he was injured back in Week 13, and he was looking to make his return sometime during the playoffs. That was originally the hope. People talked about how, given the Chiefs made some roster moves around the safety position, they thought, well, you know what? It's probably going to be a good time that he could come back. Unfortunately, though, we did get an update today, and the update was not exactly the great. Greatest. Pete Sweeney reporting this from the Chiefs press conference saying they are not optimistic on safety Brian Cook returning this postseason, which stinks. I understand that obviously we have Mike Edwards and the coverage in the cornerback room has been more than ideal, but Brian Cook made one of the biggest plays of the year on that little pitchback run up against the Dolphins, and now it looks like we're not going to see him, which in some ways, I understand. I thought that injury he sustained against the Packers was season ending, and somehow they still held out hope for him to possibly come back and play here. Well, now you don't get that. Now he's pretty positive he won't play, which it stinks, but at the same time, you have to come back here. You have to understand that it's better to not risk him going forward than to put him out there and let that ankle get torn up even. I tell you what, before we move on in our show, I've got to tell you about one of our sponsors, an amazing sponsor, Factor Meals. And if you go to factor.com slash chiefchat50, you're going to get 50% off telling you you want to go check it out. And if you want to get energized with America's number one ready-to-eat meal delivery service, then guess what? You can do it with Factor as they can help fuel you up fast for breakfast, lunch, and dinner with chef-prepared, dietitian approved meals headed straight to your door and ready in just two minutes. All you got to do, heat and enjoy. They have over 35 meals to choose from per week, including options like keto, calorie smart, vegan and veggie, and more, plus over 55 weekly add-ons. You'll have a ton of nutritious and flavorful options to kickstart your resolution. Forget frantic lunch preps and rush dinners. Factors two-minute meals are your secret weapon in the new year. Fuel up fast with restaurant quality meals, all delivered right to your door. Now, if you need a special occasion meal, well, guess what? Factors got you covered with Gourmet Plus as the perfect solution if you're looking for fast, upscale options done easy. So, do yourself a favor, head to factormeals.com slash chiefschat50 and use code chiefschat50 to get 50% off. That's code chiefschat50 at factormeals.com slash chiefschat50 to get 50% off. We're going to put that in the comments and the description of today's video, just so you have it right in front of you. Go click that link and get your 50% off right now. We talked about it yesterday, about the frigid scenario that we're going to be seeing, the weather in Arrowhead. And it was an important topic today when the media finally got to talk to Patrick Mahomes, to Chris Jones, to Andy Reid, because, listen, 10 degrees with a negative 8-degree wind chill and gust up to 39 miles an hour, it's not exactly the greatest weather to be playing football in. Football weather is good. It's cold. It's snowy. But the 29-mile-an-hour wind, that's what's going to hurt. Patrick Mahomes was asked about this, and he had some things to say, saying, if there's an opportunity to go outside, Coach Reed is going to have you go outside during the cold. You kind of just adapt to it. The cold weather in a stadium like Arrowhead, you know you're really playing football. I like that comment because it seems like he's positive. But I go back to one thing that we talked about in the preview. Running could be a big key in this game. Obviously, the Chiefs are going to air it out. But I think what's funny is the Chiefs are somewhat already alluding to their game plan, and it's Tuesday, which I kind of like because it shows confidence, but I'm interested to see how it works out. They also asked Patrick Rome saying, we're going to have to hit deep shots this week in order to win the football game. So it's interesting. I think running is going to be a key, but obviously Mahomes talking about deep shots with a beaten up, battered up Bills, excuse me, Dolphins secondary 
it's going to be an interesting mix. And so I think it's kind of an interesting question to ask. I want your take on it. What's going to be the bigger key versus Miami this Saturday in Arrowhead Stadium? Is it going to be the passing game? Well, I want you to type P. Is it going to be the running game that I want you to type R? Because they've kind of given us a little bit of an insight. They're going to hammer home with Pacheco, and then when they have times that they feel like they can't, they're going to take deep shots. They're going to go to Rasheed Rice. They may go to McCole Harbin. I hate to say it, they may go to MVS, Kadarius Tony, guys that really have been drop heavy this year. They may give them an extra shot. And hey, if it works in the playoffs, all could be forgiven. Now, we'll see if that actually does happen, but I'm interested to see what is more important, type P for the passing game, type R for the running game. Let's take a look at the in-depth stats on this to kind of see how this is split up. Now, the Chiefs ranked sixth in passing yards per game at 246.4. And rushing yards, they are 19th with over 100 yards, 104.9. So, obviously, both options are available to you. I think what's funny, though, is a lot of people talk about how the Chiefs' offense is so bad this year. The Chiefs' offense is right. Mahomes is so, like, a normal person without these wide receivers. Yet, he is somehow, somehow still sixth in passing yards in the, in the league with these receivers. I think that should tell you all you need to know about what type of Patrick Mahomes, what type of player Patrick Mahomes is. And that's a good one. I'm telling you, we're going to see both sides of it this Saturday. And I'm excited to see the deep shots, but I'm also excited to see Isaiah Pacheco run with his entire body. You've seen the memes, you know what I'm talking about. We also did talk about Chris Jones early in the show. Let's talk about what exactly he said and why we brought him up. Because, well, today he was talking about with the media his potential future with Kansas City. As I was kind of surprised to see it, but he said, could be my last game at Arrowhead. Who knows? He did say, or rather went on to say that, he stresses it all about the game in postseason, said that from this reporter, he hadn't crossed his mind that this could be his last game, and he can't really think about the future because the future tends to change, which I do agree with. Obviously, last season, when the Super Bowl ending and then his holdout, there was a lot of things that changed. I mean, a lot of people said that Chris Jones was going to end his holdout in week four. He ended it after one week. I mean, it was kind of crazy. There's a lot of things that have happened this season. I will say this. Hopefully it won't be. And I say that in two meanings. The first one being, there's still a shot that Kansas City gets another home game at Arrowhead this year. All that we need to happen is the Steelers taking out the Bills. Then in that case, potential, you could go play either the Browns or the Texans in Arrowhead. That's also potential. But the more likely scenario, Bills beat the Steelers. You're the three with the one and two left. You're going on the road to play in Orchard Park against the Buffalo Bills. I also hope he could just come back next season. So two sides to that story. Hopefully we'll see him in Arrowhead once again. But overall, the future is in the future. And let's leave that there. Right now, it's playoff time. You got to worry about Miami. And you got to win this game Saturday to keep your season alive. And I'm telling you, Mahomes is ready. Chris Jones is ready. I'm ready. And I hope you're ready too. Make sure you're subscribed so you get to join us on Saturday. I know it's on Peacock. Guess what? We got you covered. We're going to have a live watch party right here on the Chiefs Report. Hit that subscribe button. We'll keep you covered, and we'll see you on Saturday, or we'll see you throughout the week with some more injury updates. But that's all we got for you today, Chiefs Kingdom. As always, peace out.